and my good pal Jasper over here. Hey everyone, I'm Jasper. <laughs> This is my little routine every single morning. I sit on this heat vent and I eat my breakfast and I go on my phone and it's relaxing, so. Good morning guys, so it is a Tuesday morning. It is 10.36 a.m. and today we are gonna be hanging out. You're gonna be coming along with me for my day and I'm gonna be trying to film almost as if we're on FaceTime. I don't FaceTime people that often, so I can't promise that it's gonna fully meet FaceTime quality level expectations, but I'm gonna do my best to say what's ever, on, what, what, whatever is <laughs> on my mind and just be filming, doing whatever. So this morning I went to the gym. I'm still in my gym clothes. I need to shower. I just like, in the morning recently, it has been so cold. And when I get home, first of all, I'm super hungry and I want coffee. So like, I just do that. And then I get really cold and I try to snuggle up and go in the heat vent and I go on my phone and then it's 1030 and I haven't showered yet. So that's where I'm at right now. It is so like cold in the house and I just want to like snuggle in bed and not do anything. But I do have a little bit of stuff that needs to get done today. It's not going to be a crazy day. It's going to be pretty chill. I don't have like anything super urgent, which is kind of nice. As much as I like being productive and being busy, it's kind of nice to have more like chill laid back days like this. So I'm excited. So like I said, I need to hop in the shower and kind of get ready for the day. And I kind of go back and forth between getting ready for the day and not getting ready for the day because I do online school. So it's like, I don't really technically need to get ready. And some days I just stay in my PJs all day and I don't wear any makeup or do anything with my hair. Not that I usually do anything with my hair, but I really don't do anything with my hair and I'm just like kind of a bum around the house and some days that's the vibe but recently I've kind of been liking just like actually getting ready and my definition of getting ready is sweatpants and a nicer top and then doing a little bit of makeup <laughs> So the next thing that we're gonna be doing or that I'm gonna be doing but you're gonna be watching me do is I'm gonna be making a scrapbook and I'm so excited about this because this is something that I've been wanting to do for so long but I guess I've never really prioritized it until today because I'm finally gonna be starting one. Scrapbooks are something that's super nostalgic for me because my mom used to be really into making them and she made little individual scrapbooks for each one of us kids so we each have one with like photos of us from when we were babies and when we were little and there's little notes and like decorations around the photos and it's just so cute and I always love looking through those books. And this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Canon which is one of my favorite brands ever. I've been using their cameras for so long so thank you so much to Canon for sponsoring this portion of the video. To help me make this little photo book, I'm going to be using the Canon IV2 mini printer, which this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever owned. I was using it last night and I started making pages in my scrapbook. This is what I made last night. So the Canon IV2 mini printer is obviously a mini printer and it prints out little 2x3 photos, but the back is sticky. So there's stickers, which saves you money on glue, like you don't have to buy glue because it literally is a sticker. And then the second thing that's crazy about this is that it doesn't use any ink. So it uses a technology called zinc, which stands for zero ink and there's no mess There's no ink involved. You don't have to worry about refilling the ink These prints are also water and tear resistant So you don't have to worry about like accidentally ripping the photo and wasting a print So now that we have the paper in the printer the printer is connected to the app All I have to do is pick my photos and start printing now that we have the photo selected I can just go ahead and print it as it is or There's the option to add a bunch of different things so you can add frames you can add text You can even add a custom handwriting text and it is gonna start printing out of the printer. This is like so satisfying. This is the finished photo. As you can tell, it is literally perfect. We got the little heart, we got the photo, and it kind of gives it a little bit of like a vintage type of look, which I really love. That is my favorite look for photos. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this photo book, just like making a few pages. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to fill this whole photo book. My goal is just to like keep adding photos and building it up over time and hopefully eventually have a completed project. Make 
massages. I didn't even realize that. Like you, oh, it's so cute. Oh, it. Erica, that's the cutest thing. I know, I love it. You're tempting me to get one. You should get one. They're so cute. I would love to make a little scrap of Yes, it's so cute. Okay, so Okay guys, it is currently 3.31. I don't know why it took me so long because I really didn't do that many pages, but I was having so much fun just sitting here, watching some YouTube, eating some food, doing my little scrapbook. Okay, so this is the first page that I did, and this is from the other day, like a few days ago, when we went to a pumpkin patch, and it was so much fun. We have my cousin, my brother, my sister, and I did some little notes and doodles here and there, just kind of like emulating the vibe for the day, kind of saying what's going on. But yeah, I am very, very happy with how this photo book is turning out. And I genuinely 100% mean it when I say that this printer is one of my new prized possessions because it is an absolute game changer for making scrapbooks. Like you don't have to go to the store to like get the prints and then wait a couple hours to go pick them up. And you don't have to deal with glue and you don't have to deal with ink. Thank you so much to Canon for sponsoring that portion of the video. So yeah, I do have to go do a little bit of school, but hopefully it won't take more than an hour. And then after that, I kind of just want to go like hang out with you guys, like do something kind of fun. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. We'll figure it out. Like for example, I'll be hanging out with a friend that I haven't seen in a month and they'll be like, oh, give me an update of your life, expecting all this juicy stuff. And I literally have nothing because I've been doing the same thing and I love my life and I feel so chill and there's not a lot of like worries or concerns, which is amazing. I'm so blessed. But at the same time, I feel kind of lame because I'm 17 years old and I feel like I need to be living it up and like doing all these teenage things, but I don't know how. I know that what I'm doing is not bad and it's not hurting my future necessarily, but like, I really hope that I don't look back on these years and wish that I did something more crazy and like wish that I was more adventurous so that I like did more stuff with my life because it's not that yeah also I need your genuine input on this I'm turning 18 in two months and that is crazy and scary but I'm trying to decide if I should do a birthday party or not because birthday parties are like I like the idea of them but then Whenever I start trying to actually plan one, I get so stressed because it's like, where do I draw the line between like, oh, I'm close with this person, I'm not close with this person because I know so many amazing people, but then it's like, I don't want someone to be offended if I don't invite them. See, this is like, I'm literally getting stressed talking about this. Also, I haven't had a birthday party in a few years. Like I've maybe hung out with a few friends, but not really like an actual birthday party where there's like a big cake and like invites and activities. Like that's another thing, like activities. Like I don't want to bore people because like, what if people get bored? Yeah, I'll probably figure it out and I'll keep you guys updated, but I would love if you guys have any advice on hosting birthday parties. If you guys have any tips, let me know any way you can because I've been kind of stressed about that. Like that's been a big thing on my mind. It's like my birthday. And then along with my birthday, <laughs> It's like, when do I move out? Like, is it weird to like live with my parents for a little more? And I know that it's like not. I kind of also do want to move out, but I also still feel like a baby. So I probably should wait a few years to move out. But then what do I do with my life? Cause like, this is a spiral that I keep putting myself into because it's like, I start thinking about my birthday party and then I think about turning 18 and then I think about growing up and getting old. And then I think about moving out and then I think about should I move out? And then I think about what to do with my life. And then I think about, should I go to college? Yeah, I'm kind of driving myself crazy thinking about this type of stuff but it's just what's been on my mind and i felt like i needed to share that with you but yeah i'm gonna go work in some school i'm like actually gonna go to school now though i'm not even gonna turn off the camera okay i'm not even gonna edit i'm gonna get my laptop and we are gonna do school actually i think i'm gonna do it at my desk because i'm kind of feeling the vibes i know i said i'm not gonna do it in my room but i think i'm going to today we're gonna like i'm seriously right now turning on the light i'm like i'm gonna i need to start because i've been procrastinating this assignment and now it is due today so we cannot procrastinate any longer this is kind of awkward but i'm not gonna edit this clip so i can force myself it will i always kind of breathing though let's get okay i don't have i literally don't 
where can I place you guys? Okay, we're gonna get to work. Um, also guys, this is my last week of school. Not a school, but it's my last week of this course that I'm doing. And then I need to register for a new, a new course, which could take up to two weeks, which means that for probably like a week or two, I'm gonna have no school, which I'm kind of excited about. But yeah, technically I could graduate next week if I wanted to, which is kind of crazy, but I don't want to because I'm in denial that I'm able to graduate. So I'm just gonna continue classes, but also I just like learning and I wanna utilize the time that I have now while I have so much free time and while I have all these resources to be able to learn, get some college credits. I don't even know if I'm going to college, but I'm getting the college credits. So I doing, doing school, focus. <laughs> this is my problem is that I, oh, also, like hunched over. My problem is that I get sidetracked very easily. Like my brain just does it just refuses to focus on what actually needs to get done. But we are trying to change that. We're trying to work on it. Self development, self improvement. <laughs> I always get so nervous filming in like parking lots, especially because I have my little light here. And I feel like everyone's gonna be staring at me, but it's fine. It's, it's not a big, whoa, that's like scary. Ah. Okay, right now I'm actually in the parking lot of a bookstore because we're gonna go into a bookstore and I'm so excited because it's been at least a year since I've been in a bookstore and it's overdue, it's been a while. And as you guys know, I've kind of been off my reading grind and I'm like kind of starting to get back on it. But I think going into a bookstore, seeing the books, browsing through the selections, picking something I'm genuinely passionate about will be helpful for me. Also, bookstores are just so nostalgic for me because I remember going there as a kid, browsing through the aisles, playing the little kid section, picking out a book, and it was just so much fun. Also, this is random, but my older sister is here too. Like, we're not technically together, but she's here too, which is so random, but basically, we were talking to each other a little bit, telling each other what we're gonna do, and turns out that we were both planning on going to the same bookstore. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because I always get I thought about bringing my headphones so I could be like mysterious, but I also am kind of scared of like having noise canceling on when I'm alone because it's like kind of dangerous. Not that bookstores are that dangerous, but yeah, I low-key should have done that. Also, the guy at the drive-thru gave me this drink for free, which has never happened to me before, but he was literally like, oh, it's on us. It's on the house. All right, that one's gonna be on us today. And he didn't say why. Like, I don't know if it was like this, you're the lucky winner of the day type of thing, but somehow I got this drink for free. So I'm really happy about that. And that just made me happy, so. But yeah, I'm gonna go into the bookstore. And I'm not gonna force myself to buy anything. I'm hoping I can buy a book, but I do have one at home that I should probably read first. Is that my sister? No, okay. <laughs> I think she's still here. I, I kind of low key hope I run into her because that'd be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna force myself to buy anything because I don't want to force, but if I find something good, so. I just got to the bookstore and it was very relaxing. I just kind of grabbed a random book and I didn't end up buying anything because I realized that I hadn't done proper research before going to the store. And it's kind of overwhelming going into bookstores when you don't know what you want because there's so many books. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening. It is currently 8.45 so by the time I get home, 
probably nine and then I'm gonna need to like shower do all the things and so I'm like wait what else am I gonna do because I have things that I could do but then it's like nothing super urgent but yeah I guess I'll just go home and I'll see what's up see what everyone else is doing and maybe I'll like join my family something about just like being in a parking lot at night it either creeps me out or I feel like it's so much fun and right now I'm thinking it's fun like I kind of just want to like hang out my car but I'm not gonna do that Basically, I got home. It sounds like there's a little police chase going on in my house, but it's just a movie that my siblings are watching. I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. Um, I might, so basically, I'm just gonna make a snack. So my mom just made some fresh sourdough bread, which is really good. Like, she literally makes the best bread ever. Okay guys, it is 11.19 and I don't know if any of you guys relate to this feeling but I kind of am at the point of tiredness where I just want to cry and everything's frustrating me because I'm so tired. Also, try to ignore the background noise because my family's watching, I think, football or something and it's probably loud but I also don't want to be annoying and like tell them to turn it off. But I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare, brush my teeth, all that type of stuff. My camera's about to die. I was gonna go play like pickleball with some of my siblings tomorrow morning, but I think I just really need to let myself sleep in a little bit because I just feel so exhausted right now and I really don't wanna be a grump tomorrow because I'm gonna be hanging out with friends and I'm one of those people that if I don't get enough sleep, I'm just like not always the funnest to be around. Like, I don't know, I just really need my sleep and I, <laughs> I look crazy. I've been experimenting with a lot of new skincare products recently, so once I find that skincare routine that clears my skin, I'll let you guys know. I haven't found it yet, but I feel like I'm close because I've been doing a lot of research, I've been trying out different things, and I feel like my skin's getting a tiny bit better. I don't want to jinx it. Obviously, it could just be, you know, whatever phase I'm on in my cycle. That is something that, hold on one second. Something I've been wanting to learn more about recently is like menstrual phases. I know that there's like the luteal phase, the... And I just want to make understanding hormones and like women's bodies, whatever, a lot easier. I know that you're technically supposed to put toner on like a cotton round, but for some reason I just don't like doing that because I feel like it's such a waste. And I just like putting it off my hands, but I don't know if that's like wrong. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm literally so tired, so I'm sorry if I'm like bl blurbing out my words. I probably shouldn't even be filming right now, but I just wanted to like complete the video. I recently got this facial spritzer because apparently it's good to like wet your face in between certain skincare products. I think this is technically meant for like plants, like to mist your plants, which I could use it for that too because my plants are low-key dying, so... Oh no! I have this thing where I always have to brush my teeth before my skincare. And I forgot to do that, so. 